Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Yeah. yeah, man. Woo! Woo! Super exciting. It's a, yeah. it's a Monday. It is definitely a Monday. I'm off work this week and next week. Uh, you know, remember the Mondays where we sell like 80 things? <laughs> uh, the Mondays of Mondays past. Y'all, yeah. it's... All right. Okay. But I, I... We have close to 20. Right. And, I, you know, and I, I say it a lot in my videos that I make alone that I compare it to normal, quote unquote, normal, when we were both putting in full time and listing like 50 things a day. And so it, I mean, things are gonna, gonna take a hit from that. So we're trying to figure out a way forward, friends. <clears throat> okay, so the first we have some good sales though. There's a couple. A couple of giveaways. A couple sprinkled in there. A couple of giveaways. Go. I'm saying. All right. Always. One thing on Mercari, which Mercari's been really, really slow. I need to get over there and do some more things. Some. Like D list, re list, listings. Oh, I, I don't know, activity over there. I feel like we get more. Okay. Yeah. The first thing is this Eileen Fisher. Yeah. Cardigan. It's an open knit, which I'm going to just keep trying to tell you guys about trends that I see. The good thing about working at Dr. Phil is that I come in contact with all kinds of people and I watch their clothes. And then I'm going to tell you all the hacks yes all the inside info come here for your style tips uh open knits are huge right now i'm seeing tons of people either people i work with people in the industry or guests coming in wearing open knits and let's see if i can zoom in on this you can see our car does not make this easy see oh, how really? how it's open and it has like a pattern you can see through it sheer things are in right now anything that you can layer on top of something else and see the underneath layer I guess we'll just say that. Right, uh, this sold right. for thirty-four dollars, which is pretty good for an Eileen Fisher piece. Yeah. The title was Eileen Fisher Women's Size Small Cardigan Sweater Open Knit Linen Metallic Blend Blue. You just shove all of the keywords <laughs> into the title. <laughs> so it's done. Okay. Next yes. is okay. Yeah, we're going to Poshmark now. Yep. And let me tee that up. Just need this to be down like that. Ooh. Yeah, it makes it confusing. Sorry. Okay, these are a pair of men's pants from Bonobos. Yeah. Men's pants. Come I on. think these were from the bins. Bonobos men's size 32, 30, slim pants, blue cotton stretch, five pocket style. They sold for 18. They're not going to make you rich, mm. but they are a pretty recognizable modern brand. I will show you what it looks like. Oh, there right it there. is. I don't know. The commercial is like, Bonobos. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I say Bonobos. You say tomato. I say tomato. Exactly. Bonobos. Right. They're trying to sound super fancy. It's like a Dior <laughs> exactly. commercial or something. They're, they're like, oh, visit our boutique in Highland Park. Bonobos. Right. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. Get away. Okay, break. Okay. <laughs> so I was just listing. Yes. Listing. She's back to work, people. Yeah. I'm telling you. And I am using Vendu, as you guys know. And we would like to pause this video because this portion is sponsored by Vendu. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. It is so nice to have them on board with us. But even better, I cannot tell you how quickly I was able to jump back in. I haven't listed anything in three months Slacker. <laughs> i'm kidding come on you've been working hard at Dr. i want hey, i've been working hard but what i wanted to do is highlight the features that can keep your business going even when you can't nice with vendu yes if you don't know what vendu is or what we're talking about we demo it at the end of every single video it's what we use to cross list everything and run our analytics and basically yes. run our reselling business it's the hub it's definitely the hub yes. they say the kitchen is the heart of the home. Well, Vendu is the heart of reselling. I'm telling nice. you. I know. I just thought of that. <laughs> you did real good. But we have employee and Dan works here too. So there's two or three people working at all times. Not me. I make four. 
And in the meantime, when I haven't been listing, they have been making drafts. And I wanted to highlight the Vendu draft feature today because it is invaluable. Take it away. <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> so you can, if you are so inclined, say you wanted to live in a van down by the river. Just great. As long as you have Wi-Fi and Vendu, you could run your entire business from your phone. You, wow. Yeah, they do have a mobile app. That's true. Yeah. Fully so functional. It's, it's mind blowing. Actually, every time yeah. I open the app, they've added something new. Now you can like quickly delist things like with a touch of a button, you used to have to go into each, which was still not that much, but now it's even more streamlined than that in the app. Excellent. It's amazing. And what you can do is take your pictures directly in the app and create a draft. You could do that all day. You could batch it and only have drafts, yeah. but your pictures would be living somewhere in a hub that then you could cross list them wherever you wanted to. True. And that's what I did today. I didn't have to take a single picture. I didn't have to do anything other than sit down with Vendu and list a bunch of things and make a bunch of money. <laughs> Vendu for us pays for itself over and over and over each week. I mean, it's like insane yeah, how many absolutely. platforms we list to now. It's insane. Yeah, uh, Vendu supports, uh, I think, 10 platforms currently. All the major ones, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, uh, Kizen, uh, Etsy, Etsy you Shopify, know, Facebook Marketplace. You can also mark things as sold from a Rail. ton of other marketplaces. That's true. Yeah. So, like, if you do whatnot and yeah, some people... Yeah, we sell stuff on Curtsy sometimes, and even though you can't cross-list to Curtsy yeah. through Vendu, You yet, can mark it as sold. You can mark it as sold. At, from curtsy and you can track all your sales from that marketplace so you know for all of you out there that do whatnot i know there's a bunch of you that watch us that do whatnot yeah you can use vendu too you can yeah do it if for no nothing else than the analytics i mean i personally think it's worth it just for that but. we use that at tax time we're actually in tax week right now i'm avoiding it like big time um but anyway, uh, if you want to try it out, please do use our link down below in the description of this video. You get 25% off the uh, your first month's subscription. Yes. And yes. if you have any questions, we're always here for you. It's seriously the best thing that's ever happened to our reselling business. And you can try it for free for five listings just yep. to like get the hang of it and yeah. see if it's going to work for you. For sure. We don't do have things on this channel. Yeah. We love Vendu. We do. And you will too. Go click on our link right now. Go right click, now. Click, click. Okay, back to the video. All right. The other one also has a pronunciation. This is old. 3412. Wow. This is a tomato tomato. Again, this is the brand Kuji or Kugi, depending on who you are and how you say it. That's true. Um this. How, how are we gonna say it? I don't know. I just said it both ways. Okay. okay. So this is inventory number 3412. It's handwritten. It's old. But it's a vintage piece. No. So not the oldest thing we sold today. It is, this is not the oldest. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Old stuff's moving. Uh, okay. Speaking of old stuff moving, I can't get a mouse. There we go. There we go. This thing is like a little shrug bomber jacket. It's like satin and it has all this embroidery on the back. Yeah, it does. Uh, kind of like back, you know, it feels like Juicy Couture a little bit. Yeah, totally. Um, I don't know. So the title, in case you're just listening, is Kuji Women's Embroidered Shrug Track Jacket. Style number, size large, Y2K. And this ended up selling for $30. Dollars. All right, decent, decent. Yeah, I think so. Well, we've had paid, it a long uh, time. We paid two bucks for it. <laughs> Dan coming in with the cost of goods. Hey, I'm trying. Guess what this is? An open knit. No. I'm telling you guys, it's not about brand <laughs> in reselling land. It's about style many times. Sometimes it's brown brand, but a lot of times you just got to look around. This is Chico's baby. He's on to something here. Chico's. This is like a little hoodie situation. Chico's. Women's size 3 US 16 extra large open knit hoodie sweater oatmeal cotton blend. I think we're going to be seeing neutrals for a long time. This vanilla girl aesthetic ain't going nowhere. Okay. This is also a coastal grandma. <laughs> All that. I don't know if the, the terms will stick around, <laughs> right. but the styles for sure. They're so wearable and classic i think these trends are gonna stay yeah that's just my <clears> thing this sold for 15 we've had it forever ever ever 
and look at that it finally sells when the style starts trending you know this is the oldest thing holy <laughs> moly yes it is number five two one they can wait yeah it's so old wow Yep. Uh, we are on 12,822 right now. In case you're keeping track. We're yeah. almost going to hit 13,000 listings. Listings. Lifetime listings, not right. active. Okay. Um, this is a chaser shirt. And, you know, if this if this, uh, if this said white wine, I probably would have kept it. <laughs> It says True. chaser women's size extra small <laughs> red wine till bedtime long sleeve t shirt oversized and we paid ninety nine cents for that we need a ticket it's an old one, old one. Uh, this did sell for eighteen dollars after seven years you need to make a a white wine line <laughs> what was the number five twenty one yeah okay. dang yeah I found the stock photo too I'm sure that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we've had this a, a while. I thought it was going to go faster. Chaser used to move really fast. Yeah, it used to. But I'm not mad at $18. No, ma'am. Not mad. Yeah, wow, really. two old things on Poshmark. I know, right? Okay. Okay, we're going to move on to the bay. Let's go, eBay. Let's go. You know, there were some sales coming in today a lot. Did you do your thing with the offer thing? I sure did. Tell me what you do again. Uh, so when I send out offers in the morning through the app after I put in the discount that I want to send out, uh, I add at the end of the message, complete your sale by 2 p.m. Central Time, and your item will ship today. And it converts at least one. Today it was like cha-ching, 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 and they were all coming in. I'm like, I think it was one. Yeah, both of these came in at the same time because yep. that's a bundle. Yep. This one. I think these four. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. From that message. We don't normally get that. So the message is very effective. People want their things and they want them fast. Oh, now. And so if you give them that sense of urgency, it works on me every time. <laughs> Not necessarily on eBay, but like. You know, four more hours left in the sale. I'm like, oh, it's never going to be on sale again. Right. It's always on sale. Only like, I did this yesterday. Add only 24 more dollars to your card to get free one day shipping. I do it every time. Because <laughs> then I'm like, that, you know, on Amazon, especially, it's like three bucks. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a pack of like, yeah. you know, baby wipes. <laughs> free. It's basically Just free. Girl math right there for free. you. Free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First thing. What do we got? So again, we're talking about style, less than brand. Just because we sold this brand, don't go run out and buy the whole store, okay? Yeah. Oh, oh. What? Okay. I was like, what? I just saw you closing tabs. I didn't realize. It I'm on top of it, Rose. You are. The first thing to sell on eBay are, are these Carlisle pants. This brand used to do much better. It's very high quality. Here's the tag. Uh, the, 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 the title is Carlisle, size 12, dress pants, black stretch, cotton, poplin, trousers, side zip, career. Woo! Woo! These sold for sixteen thirty, dollars uh, and I'm happy that they sold. Yeah, me too. The number is 7811, so they are an older piece of our inventory. We had a bunch of these Carlisle pants, and we have moved through them. Yeah, this was way back in the $3.59 <laughs> estate sale. Right. Thing. But... If you were asking me, I wouldn't recommend this brand as a whole. No, right. And we try not to just exclude. Like, I'm sure there's some amazing styles. Yeah. But the brand as a whole is not selling like it used to for us. Sure. Okay. The next thing is a bundle. I guess you yes. call it. Yes. Uh, we got to take the, the, ja the jacket out of 11050. No jacket pants. Are these only. exactly the same color? I don't think they are. Dan's making deals well, over here. That's like kind yes. of almost purple. I know. But these are definitely not. She wants those to go with these. 
Yeah. That is not going to work. That's not going to work out. No. I would say this is and a. This was listed as that was <clears throat> that was a photo issue, a kitty photo issue because it was like super blue, and it was we listed listed it as blue. And okay, well. Yeah, we're melting down. It seems here. <laughs> we are melting down. Um, that doesn't have to. I don't think that has to go today. Okay, why don't you just check? So there's well, a hole. If you didn't see what I was alluding, I'm pretty to. sure it doesn't. And then, how did you know that there was an issue with this photo? We're having a business meeting. Uh, just now, because I'm looking at the actual color of it. Oh, oh, I thought you meant it was documented and we didn't go back. No. No. <laughs> well. There was a post on Facebook. But at least this person is very responsive. I know that. So there's a small hole. I mean, you could still wear it. It's like yeah. at the bottom. But we're going to have to tell her. Yeah, that these do not go together. They do colors. not. And does she still want that? Or does she want either of them? Right. Ah! That was fun. Uh, yep, sure was. Okay, so that's not happening. This is the photo. Let's look at it, kids. No, that's the pants. No, that's the pants. That's the that's the listing for this one. This one. It was a skirt. It says navy blue also in the title. It is definitely not navy blue. I would call that a midnight blue or maybe like a no, deep plum. I know, but it, it is blue. It's purpley blue. That's why I would say midnight. Yeah. But yeah, this is a little bit of a. Yeah, it's a stretch, right? I mean. Ooh, it's the close-ups that do it for me. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Okay, so we continue to battle the navy blue, brown, black war of all wars. Yep. It happens to all of us, and uh, we can't figure out how to fix it. Okay, next. Trying to get better. Next is Eileen Fisher. Come on. Come on, Eileen. All right. Eileen Fisher, women's size, extra large, top, green, organic linen, slub knit, boxy, long sleeve. Uh, slub knit, I'll show you if we can get a, into the close-ups here, is this, where it looks like there's little nubbies in the fabric. Nubbies. Uh, slub knit, people love. It gives it a more casual vibe. You can see it pretty close there. Uh, anytime there's something organic or linen or cotton, I always put that in the title if I can fit it. Because a lot of people are shopping for those attributes. Yep, I would agree with that. So I put anything that someone's going to search. <clears throat> yeah. And then hopefully they find my listing. That sold for thirty dollars and fifty-seven cents. Woohoo! All right, that's ten ounces. All right. Okay, the next trend that I want to alert you to is black on black. I'm going to be ahead of the curve here. Listen up, people. Black is about to be huge. I mean, like, I wear black every day for my job, but, like, it's going to be a fashion thing. Black with textures, with shine. So you're mixing, you know, like, the mesh, the open knits. So figure out your lighting for black things because you're going to want to start sourcing black things. Uh, we went out to dinner and like a walkable part of Dallas the other night and so many people were wearing black on black, which is not a Texas thing. Yeah. It was like very noticeable. It was noticeable for me because I'm always looking at people's black clothes. Like hmm, maybe I'll get that. <laughs> right. But the trendiest people in Dallas, I would argue are walking down this street. It's just like a trendy part of Dallas and they were black on black on black. Yeah. All different kinds of textures and silhouettes, like baggy pants and tight shirts and like bows and glitter and all black. We about to go through a reputation era, kids. It's coming back. Watch out. What? <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you that because lighting is so important. Whoa. Lighting is so important when you're photographing black things, particularly for texture. It's not just going to be big black blobs are not going to sell. Nope. People are looking for texture elements and shine and all that kind of thing to distinguish your black from your black. See, get side light. We have a video that talks about it. We do. We have a video on our channel and I think it's pinned or something so. it's called like lighting tutorial. Or something. <laughs> Go find it. Y'all are really resourceful. You'll figure it out. This 
It's not black. <laughs> no, but it's having it's. These are also having a moment. Yeah. That's what you're about to say. Yeah. That's exactly what I was about to say. Uh, classic blazers, traditional blazers, navy blue with the gold buttons. That's a blazer, which distinguishes it from a sport coat. This gold button situation, and normally it's one button, which is great. Ralph Lauren LRL uh, men size 50 long blazer sport coat, classic navy gold buttons, wool. Perfect title. Forty dollars and seventy seven cents. <laughs> But I have noticed that a lot of people, uh, re like retailers and designers and what have you, are starting to call everything a blazer. Yes, because that's the nomenclature that people understand. Right. But if you want to be correct, this right here makes a blazer. Yes. Uh, so in the title of this, you'll notice I put Ralph Lauren, the actual name, and then I put LRL. And that's how I get past having duplicate words in my title. And also Ralph Lauren is the technical brand. And then most people that wear this know LRL, what that means. And that's this, it's a lower tier, but we still do well with it. Yeah, for sure. The green label. Yep. All right, so what do we got here? This thing is 12, 13, two, two. Cool. All right. Okay, next we have, I am going to grab it this way, I got it, oops, see, I got it. Uh, this is Talbot's, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Show them. <laughs> uh, Talbot's, size medium, sleeveless button front top, navy blue stretch, white piping, nautical, this sold for $15. Yeah. Piping is also coming back, any kind of trim around the edges of a collar has been hot, hot, hot. If you uh, look at, here's how you can figure this out too. This is a hot tip. Hot tip. Your fast fashion retailers are the place to look because they're trying to pump in new fashions and get them right out the door. Mm -hmm. Those are the places where the trends are gonna be the hottest and the most current, in my opinion. Uh, if you go through H&M right now to the new recently added, or if you go to, what is the other one, Forever 21, yeah. go to the recently added and start to collect those mind images of things that they're trying to sell. Because those are the things that people want to buy right now. I never would have thought of that. That's why it's called fast fashion. And because you only get to wear it once. <laughs> before it falls apart. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Uh, so check that out. And you're going to see a lot of collar work. You're going to see a lot of scalloping a lot of piping, crochet collars, Peter Pan collars with a little bit of jeweling on them. Lots of collar stuff happening. Okay. 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 Again, though, a dark collar with a pop of something. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Uh, where are we? Going? Yes. Okay. These are bins finds, and these were the best bins finds. Yes, they were. These are vans with cats all over them. Cat vans. You can never go wrong with a cat van. <laughs> Spin my life, turn my van into a cat. Exactly. All right, here we go. Vans with the SPCA <laughs> made these shoes. With the ASPCA, excuse me. Cats edition sneaker, women's size eight, men's size six and a half, lace up shoe, rare. We sold for $45. We did replace the laces. I think they didn't have any laces when we bought them. Um, is that right? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And anytime I'm at the bins, I pick up shoelaces. Like, it's my job. Look at these cats. Yes. <laughs> They're, like, actually photorealistic. Look at that horrible yeah. cutout of that white one. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's he's, he's like, half of the head. Of the uh, oh, I That's see. Oh, my gosh. Look at these cats. <laughs> Hi. Okay, anyway. They weren't in perfect condition, but who is not going to pick up Vans? Had to have them. Yep. Yeah, they sold for 45 Cool. Nice. Okay. This one. Okay. All right. It's padded. Yo. Okay, G. It's an open knit. What? Another <laughs> one? Man. I'm telling you, it's not rocket science. Like reselling is like figuring out what people want to buy. Then you buy it first and you sell it to them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the problem we're having is a slow sales because we're not listing anything. That's exactly right. I mean, it's, it's really not hard. This job is so, it's demanding. I'll give you that. But like at the bottom, everyone's always looking for the silver bullet. Well, silver bullets, like watch what people are buying and sell that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry to be like crude, but open nits are selling. Now, open when nits. you watch this, you then you know. Right. All right, here it is. It's Chico's. It's the Chico's. Chico's women's size zero, US four, small open cable knit cardigan, coral cotton, sold for $20.37. We're not going to get rich off of it, but you've learned a lesson today about what is selling. This looks a lot less open than it kind of does in real life. I think we have a close up where it's more open y. Eh. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it yeah. there. It's pretty open. Anyway, I think the mannequin helps sell this Chico stuff. Also, Dan's squeezing it into this envelope, and I wanted you to be able to see it. <laughs> they love <laughs> we're, it. We're borderline Christmas hand territory. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it exhaled. I did. Same. <laughs> How do we keep getting kid is in notifications? I don't, I don't know how to kid is. I don't know. Are they suspending our account? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can see that happening. Right. All right. Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit more open. Oh, yeah. 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 Our first in a while white pants. Yes. Love it. We like made an entire income last year of white pants. <laughs> Talbots, women's size, extra large, petite, white capri pants, lounge, stretch, pull on, and I put stretch twice. That's okay. Fantastic. Uh, these are also an older thing. They did sell for $16.30, but like you can see the number here, 8136. These are super old. Here's the tag. And it is T by Talbots. Had I put that in the title, see, we didn't know the difference what oh it that? is yeah i bet these would have sold very fast and much sooner because we had them forever yep people are searching for tea by talbot so if you can put it in the title if you should yeah it's more popular for sure <laughs> the tea by talbots is like the lululemon of talbots and people love it especially the hoodies they love it I mean, those hoodies are the fastest thing. Like, it's so weird, the striped ones. When we find them, we're like, Yee! Okay, they sell for 20 bucks, so you're not going to get rich. Yeah. But, like, every time we're like, cha-ching. It's like, guaranteed $20. <laughs> Why, though? I don't know. Okay. Dan's oh, always no. like, I found two T-by Thomas. <laughs> Score. Score. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. This thing is cool. It is super cool. It did not sell for much, but it is. Oh, it's for Patricia, so it's okay. Well, I'm saying I had to lower the price because it was it has a little bit of damage. Yeah. So that's the only problem, but it is new, it's I think. It's super cool. It does have tags, yeah. Yeah, it's new with tags, and that's not in the title either because I also had to put Tiny Flaw, but this thing is super cool. Is it not in the title? No. It's weird. This is brand new, and this is Ming Wang, which is one of our favorite brands to, to buy and sell. Yeah, it's definitely new. It is brand new. <laughs> it has the Nordstrom tag on it. Not like Nordstrom Rack, like Nordstrom. So thank you. I'm getting a great deal here, and it just has this little flaw, and I want to show you guys how we call out the little flaw. We just put a circle around it. There's a little hole there right on the sleeve, which I thought would be fine, but I kept dropping the price on this because of it. Um, is it slinky? No. Mm, most no, of the yeah, most of the Ming Wang is slinky, but this is not. You can see the tag how we do it. Sorry, I keep rolling through these. At the front here, we put it so you can see it. We try to do that in our photos. So if I forget that it's new, like I did. <laughs> I wonder if I listed it as excellent new condition. Okay, I did. So I'm gonna show you the Ming Wang tag so you know this brand normally does really, really well for yeah. us. It looks like that. But this isn't st standard Ming Wang. It's not like it's like a knit, like kind of like St. John. A mix between St. John and a traveler. It's a good description, yeah. yeah. So you can find Ming Wang really fast when you're flipping through the racks because of its feeling. Yeah, texture. it definitely stands out. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, thank you. 
if that didn't have damage, I probably would have listed that for like 75 bucks. For sure. But the damage is on the front. Anytime it's on the front and like requires you to maybe get it tailored or something, how much can you ask, right? All right. Next, we have a J. Jill. Go. Huh. Okay, let's bring this up. This is similar to the Tea by Talbot's hoodie that I keep referencing, <laughs> but this one's by J. Jill. J. Jill women's size, extra large petite sweater top, cowl neck blue drawstring boxy fit. Is this the same person? There's a little another extra large petite somewhere. Um, no, I don't think so. Because it didn't, the give, me the, That's didn't so give me the option to combine. Huh. Hmm. Uh, this is the hoodie. And this sold for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Again, you're not going to get rich, but this J. Jill stuff in the athleisure normally moves. Bread also, and butter. I find extra large petite to be a little bit of a unicorn size that a lot of people are looking for. Uh, extra large petite means that you are curvy, but you have smaller, shorter proportions. And so it's a it's a good size to have on hand. People mostly have to go online to get it anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Billy Reed. Ooh, menswear. Yes. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> All right. This is a dress shirt, men's casual button down, what have you. Yes. Billy Reed, men's size medium, standard fit, shirt, button down, gray, geometric, long sleeve. This sold for $22. Billy Reed and Sid Mashburn, I put them in the same in my mind, yeah. same level. They sell very fast normally. Here's the tag. Let me zoom in on that for you. This says Billy Reed. That's all it says. That little embroidery on it is cute. That's yeah, cool, right? Yeah. Definitely bought that for me. You tried it on? Yeah, it didn't fit. No. Too big. You should have listed it. Yep. So, like, what is this one? What Did this not get. What is this one over here? Oh, that's the pickup. I shouldn't have opened that. I was going to close that tab. But oh, we have a local pickup? Yeah, and he said he'll come get it like next month. <laughs> next month? He's out of town. That's what he said. Uh, the last thing, besides the local pickup, <laughs> is Lafayette 148, some pants. Women's size 12, menswear, pant, trousers, stretch, khaki, business, new. Yeah, man. New with tags. And these sold for $55. I know exactly where they're going, like 100% know that address. <laughs> um, and here's the tag. So menswear is a style of dress pant made by Lafayette 148. It's very popular. <coughs> and these, since they had the tag, told us what they were. And sometimes it's in the waistband. I'm just seeing that. Yep, yeah. right there. Menswear. The menswear pant looks just like a suit pant. It's got the uh, bar and hook closure. It looks just like a men's suit pant. That's yep. why it's called the menswear pant. You got it. Got it. Yes, I got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get organized. Do you okay. need to read those out to you? Uh, nah. Let me refresh my page and then get rid of the combined one. Looks like a message. Message. That no, that's why we should be taking these things out. Removed. Okay. Ready. First up, flat rate envelope. Then we got 10. Then we got 2, 2. Oh, oh, oh. 12, 13, 14. My white clothes look good over there. Yeah, they do. I did a load of stains um, a couple days ago here, and I did a bunch of whites, and then I stain treated them. With all the different things I do, and then I put them in the washer <laughs> to soak with the white out stuff I'm always talking about and the white detergent from Corval. 
yeah, I mean, at, at first glance, when I was hanging everything up, it, everything looked really pretty good. Yeah, it really does take care of dinge, not perspiration, but it's similar to soaking in like OxyClean. But this white bright thing has, I guess it has like a bluing agent in it or something that they look really light. I know, right? <laughs> I, when I stain treat, I try to batch it so that I'm doing all of the same color combos at once so that when I do put the, after I stain treat, I always put it in the washer. And then you can do the whole load and then you're not just, splitting up your efforts. Right. I'm not just doing washing washing one thing at a time. Yeah, I'll do all dark colors or all light colors or all whites. All right. This is a weekend. Yeah, These don't feel like weekend sales. This feels <laughs> like a weekday at best. I know. You do. You can list more. That's what you can do, Amy. I know the answers to my problems. Huh. We have to do our taxes. I don't want to. We don't, want to. <laughs> don't ask us tax questions. We barely are literate enough to do it. Tax literate. All right, ready? We have an accountant. 7811. That's our tax advice. Get your own accountant. Yes. <laughs> okay, 11330. We use QuickBooks. Someone asked that. So we log our expenses in QuickBooks. We don't do spreadsheets at all. Yeah, we do like our own bookkeeping and. QuickBooks and stuff, but then we hand all that stuff off. No spreadsheets. You can just classify like a purchase as a, one of your categories on QuickBooks, and then your CPA can figure it out. Right. Someone asked how we track our expenses. That's why I was saying oh, that. I see, I see. Like, do we have a spreadsheet? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not. Nine three four four. Just commit. <laughs> Cat vans. Cat vans. Vats. <laughs> Vats. Uh. 10350. Uh oh, we got a sticky situation happening over here. There you go. <laughs> Oh, oh, Man, that tape is so good. It is really on there. <laughs> it's from Amazon. We got a paper towel. Uh, what is there any out here? Okay. Um, yep. One, two, zero, four, seven, four. We need to reload our shop. I leave for a month and then everything's empty. Everything's coming apart at the seams. Is it? No, I I'm think you're barely just hanging it. on here. Stop. I think you're doing great. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, nine, five. Yeah. The thing about Dan working alone is he's also managing the employees. He's doing great. Thanks. One, two, six, seven, six. I mean, we only have two part time employees. I'm sourcing a lot. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, two, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Minor. <laughs> All right. Cool. We are set. I've got my scan form. We're going to check in with the cats and then check in with the profit numbers for the weekend and hopefully they're you know worth talking about <laughs> stick around please hey friend what are you doing really <laughs> What do you want? I mean, I have a pretty good idea, but... Oh, they're up there? In that cabinet? <laughs> oh.
Oh, he woke up. Picnic. You were dead asleep like 15 seconds ago. At least say hi. There you go. Good girl. All right. Treats coming right up. Hey guys, we're back. You ready to see it? I mean, I'm ready. It's, it's going to be low. It's going to be low. Yep. It's, there you go. Uh, $289 and 57 cents. And that's three days. We didn't even make a hundred bucks a day. Yeah. This was a really slow weekend for us. Yes, Look at that was. number of listed items. Yeah. See, that's what happens. That is what happens. You write about that. Okay. We're going to pull it together. We got two weeks. Well, one week for March. Right. And then one week to start up April with, with a bang. Exactly right. Exactly right. <laughs> Trying to give ourselves a pep talk here. Yeah, come on. We got this. We can yeah. do it. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you. We sure do. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.